All right, I'm going to be going through this Code Wars problem, growth of a population. In a small town, the population is P0 equals 1,000 at the beginning of the year. The population regularly increases by 2% per year, and moreover, 50 new inhabitants per year come to live in the town. How many years does, does the town need to see? I can't talk, I can't read. How many years does the need does the town need to see its population greater or equal to P equals 1200 inhabitants? Um, they kind of give the example here. So um, we have the beginning population, and then it increases by 2%, and then we add 50. Um, so I think this all makes sense to me. Um, I'm going to be doing this in a Google Colab notebook, which I have right here. Um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around all the different features. So P0 is, I'm going to do this example. They have a 1500 here, but I'm going to do this example to start. So P0 equals 1000. What other variables do we have? And then we have percent. That's the percent it increases. So we're going to do for ours, we're going to do two. Percent equals two. And then we have AUG. Um, oh, inhabitants coming or going. So in our case, that was 50. Um, this is just the example from that they gave right here. And then finally, P is 1200. So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, we know it's supposed to equal three, but um, so run this net completed. So let's take a look at so when whenever I want to run something, and I for a set number of iterations, I'll use a for loop if there's a set number. If I don't know how many iterations, but I want I want some sort of um, threshold to stop at. That's when I'll use a while loop. And the threshold in this is when my population becomes um, greater than or equal to this number. That would be my stopper. So in this case, I'll want to use a while loop. So I, I'll, I know I'll want to use a while loop. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I'm just going to code this out by hand to start. So year one equals um, year one pop. And this is going to be P0 plus um, 2 divided, or I guess I should do percent divided by 100, and then multiplied by P0 plus adjusted year one pop equals this. So 1070. And that's the same thing. So let's do year two. Year two equals year two pop. And instead of using P0 here, I'll want to use year one pop. Plus percent divided by 100 times year one pop plus this two pop. And got a nice and so 1141.4. Oh, uh, we got to round this junk. Um, I think we're just straight normal rounding, nothing strange. Um, but this would be round. And we want to round this to zero decimal places. So round. So cool. So 1141. And then let's do this a third time. And we should get this 1200. So year three, year three population equals round. I'm not going to type all this out this time. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm feeling a little bit lazy with the typing. 
but change year one to be year two, year one to be year two, and then year three top. And equals 12, 14. And it's supposed to be 1213. So that means I probably have my rounding incorrect. So let's just take a look at it. Yeah, so it looks like we're always rounding down. Um, I think I can do that with int. Let's take a look. Oh, dang it. Um, hmm. No, I think I need to get rid of that part. Yeah. So I want, actually want to use integer, int, which converts this into an integer. And that's kind of like a floor division. Um, but change u to be int. And change u to be int. And get rid of this part. So cool. Um, let me get rid of this. Well, you see, or what you should see here is there's this pattern that we're doing every single time. And then I stopped it when I got when I got this population above 1200. So um, that is what we are going to do. So let's try and write a while loop to do this. While um, and make a variable called current pop is less than p. That's our threshold. I don't know what I'm doing. This needs to go right here. Um, current population I'm gonna, is I'm going to set it equal to p0. Um, I don't know if I need to do that, but that's how I'm going to do it to start. So while current population is less than p, then I want to run this. And I think I can pretty much just copy and paste this. Um, but this would be current pop. And instead of P0, I'm going to do current pop. And I'm going to do current pop. And I'm going to make a counter variable. Or I'm just going to call this year. Um, this is going to be a little bit easier to make things a little bit easier to debug. So each time I go through this, I'm going to add one to the year. So um, and now I can have a print statement here. Oops, I don't want to do that. Um, I, I don't like, I like collab because it's so easy, but I do not like how all these things pop up. I know there's a way to get rid of it, but, and, but I haven't spent the time to do that. Current pop. Oops. Where does it say current pop? Wait, right here. So cool. So, um, and then if we take a look at year, now we're at year three. So that is correct. Well, let's do it with these variables. And it's supposed to be 15, just to verify that that works. Um, I don't remember what they all are, but I need to change you to 1,500, increase it by 5%, 100 people join, and then 5,000. And then, again, this is supposed to equal 15 if we did it right. So cool. Bam. So I think this works. Um, I'm going to try to try to end code wars. Um, because this is a, I'm going to hide my print statement. This was just for debugging. But return here. So it passed all of these, cool, and it passed everything. So um, this is my solution. Um, feel free to reach out if you have questions. Thank you.